good morning. And it is a good morning. For no other reason than we're here for it. Speaking of which, we haven't been here on YouTube for a while. Why's that? As usual, we were running around. On the beaches of Chicago, and on the other side of the lake. We've also been literally running around Quinn. We're doing so to teach Lincoln the lessons we once taught our dogs about keeping newborn pups safe. Since you last saw us, we took on the worst of this year's deep freeze. Temperatures dipped, but fortunately nowhere near as low, and for nowhere near as long, as last year's polar vortex. Now, I'm not a scientist, but I have to believe our shortened winter had something to do with zero destroying or eating just about every icicle we saw. As always, there were a few setbacks and missteps, but I think we recovered nicely. Back at home, we also did a whole lot of nothing. Nothing on the couch, nothing on the chair, nothing over here, and nothing over there. Why? Well, because doing nothing is pretty much the best thing for dogs to do around babies. It's a skill we first practiced with Lincoln, and we're now honing with Quinn. Penny, who took a good year to warm up to Link, is now totally comfortable around Quinn. And that's despite all Quinn's wacky, wavy, inflatable arm movements. The dogs know the best thing they can do is ignore her, because they are well paid for doing so. People have asked for a more in-depth video on do-nothing training, so you can look for more specifics in the future. But in short, it's a way to ensure that no matter what stimuli the dogs get from Quinn, their condition response is to turn to me for treats. Again, there have been setbacks, or face plants. We've had to remind Zero that even dainty kisses can send tiny pups tumbling. Though, to be fair to Zero, Quinn generally doesn't need his help in that department. <laughs> so all was well. For a time, it seemed like we might escape from winter largely unscathed and get to embrace an early spring. Of course, now we find ourselves, like you, in the middle of a most strange place, unable to go either forward or backward. Called to distance ourselves from one of our greatest assets, each other. As always, here we are, quarantined and isolated, searching for ways to make the most of it. For Ridgebacks, Cabin fever sets in quite quickly. Penny and Zero wrestling on the carpet is fun. And of course, me joining the fray always makes for a good time. But there's simply no substitutions for a good run. Fortunately for us, the beach at sunrise remains largely empty. Daily visits are a much needed release valve for all of us. They're also a good time to practice using a tripod properly. <sighs> While the gym may be closed, I have no shortage of eager companions for a weighted hike along the water. Again, another good training opportunity to practice maybe not riling up leash dogs while they're attached to you and your child. It's a dark and ominous time, so I feel fortunate to have light in my little corner of the world. My kids don't know what a pandemic is, they can't appreciate how amazing their mother is for working in healthcare on the front lines. And even if they could, I don't know if I have the words to capture my worry, my gratitude, my ambiguous fears, and my absolute conviction that the women of Chicago are in the best hands. Instead, I stick to what I'm good at, 
being silly, starting family dog piles, and quarantine dance parties. In the coming days, weeks, and months, my plan is to share as much of that foolish light as I can, because we're in this together. And together, we can all be grateful that Emily will be taking care of your loved ones, and not me.